Okay, so now we are getting into the hybrid cloud. So say you have an on-premises data center, this is your own data center, and you want to connect it to the cloud, to your VPC. For this, you have two options. Number one is to use a site-to-site -site VPN. This is to connect your on-premises VPN to AWS. And what is a VPN? Well, it is a connection between your on-premise data center and VPC that is going to be encrypted and that goes over the public internet. So this looks like this. Your on-premise data center will connect to your VPC through the public internet and then it will be encrypted so no one else can access the communication. So this is very good because it can be set up very quickly. In about five minutes, you can have a connection between your data center and AWS but it goes over the public internet, so you may have some limited bandwidth and you may have some security concerns even though it is obviously encrypted. The other option is to use Direct Connect, or DX. Direct Connect is to establish an actual physical connection between your on-premises data center and AWS. And then the connection is going to be private, secure and fast, and it will go over the private network. And this is going to be a lot more expensive because you have to do a physical connection between yourself and a direct connect partner into AWS. And they will take at least a month to establish this, but it's going to be more private and obviously faster and more reliable. So from an exam perspective, they will ask you if it's a site-to-site -site VPN you should choose or a direct connect to connect between your on-premises data center and AWS. And it really depends on two factors. Number one, is it going to be private or not? And number two is does it need to be established fast or not? And from these informations, you should be able to select either the site-to-site -site VPN or Direct Connect. Now, just a little bit more details on site-to-site -site VPN. So it is to connect your corporate data center to your VPC. And for example, EC2 instances running in your private subnet. So for this, to establish a site-to-site -site VPN, we need on-premises a customer gateway or CGW, and that's something you have to remember at the exam. So it's a customer gateway or CGW. And then on the AWS side, you will need a virtual private gateway or VGW. And once the two things are provisioned and created, then you can connect them together using a site-to-site -site VPN. And this is how site-to-site -site VPN is implemented over the public internet. So remember going to the exam, customer gateway and virtual private gateway are needed to establish a site-to-site -site VPN. That's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.